ready whenever. Wait, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can do behind the stuff too. We're backstage entertainment. We're just yeah, yeah, no hanging doubt. out with POD. I see how we're doing. We're making we're this, getting this oatmeal? my nephew some oatmeal right now. There you go. <laughs> He's got to eat, man. Nice. He's got to eat a breakfast, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a pretty nice setup here. I mean, you got the TV, you got you got direct TV in here, yeah, dude, some surrounds and all. If you want to get real crazy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can you get a shot of the bus at all and show everybody where we're at? Oh, Hold yeah. on, baby. Nice. Baby, hold up. Hold back there, please. We are ready. Just hanging out backstage. We are on, guys, what's going on? Jeremy the France of Backstage Entertainment on P.O.D.'s nice, bus. Nice, nice. Nice weather here. We we're just talking about that. You guys are getting in the Iowa weather here. Mm -hmm. yep, so, yep. Uh, how are you guys doing today, though? Good, man. Good? I mean, yeah, we've Good. been on a road for what, about two and a half weeks, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, before we get into the interviews too far, let's just, uh, you know, tell you... Your name and what you guys do in the band for the fans out there. Uh, my name is Wolf. I play the drums in the band P.O.D. There you go. There you go. P.O.D. And my name is Trey, and I play bass. Awesome. P. Awesome. Okay, guys. A radio event today. We got like 13 bands performing today. This show today versus a normal tour day, how does it kind of <laughs> differ? Or is it even really different for you guys at all? Well, um, this, this is like a... It's like a... I don't know if it's a radio. It's a festival. It's not a radio. Yeah, show. well, like a laser fest is what yeah. they're calling it. A lot of the bands, a lot of the bands that are on the on the bill today, we've been playing with on the different weekends. Mm -hmm. So it's you know it's cool to see the same bands and whatever and, and a lot of old friends. You know what I mean? Right. But during the week, we're doing like our headline show, like in the more clubs and stuff like right. that. So it's always a get. It's always cool to get here on the weekends and play the the bigger shows. Right. Right. You know, we get to see Slash. Dog. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Slash is here today. <clears throat> um, have you guys looked at the bill? And is there anybody on that list? that you haven't played with yet maybe slash have you guys played with slash yet yeah we played with slash okay. a few times okay i haven't we haven't that i know we haven't played with volbeat yet well yeah, we played with volbeat a couple festivals ago did we I was, it was must have been they played we Raider, haven't played Raider. with sebastian bach sebastian yeah bach i say played. sebastian i got yeah. the lineup right here yeah sebastian bach would be one that might be one you haven't played with yet um but i'm guessing about every other band you probably played with on oh, tour at least once yeah, oh yeah of so that's that's awesome too uh how about uh Talk about interacting with fans. A lot, you guys have a lot of fans, obviously. Is it hard to kind of stay interacted with all the different social media that's out there now, like the Facebook, Twitter, and everything else? Or do you guys still pretty pretty uh, active with them? I think we've been pretty good with it. You know, me and myself, I'm kind of, I've been lagging a little bit. But for the, as a band, I think we've been on top of it. And I think it's important that you just got to put in the time, you know what I mean, to, mm -hmm. you know, make it a priority to be in the social network scene, you know what I mean? And it's, right. I think it's really important. These days, just stay connected like that, man. So yeah, we're we're on it, you know. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good because fans always like to know if it's you know like a publicist or just somebody behind the scenes responding to them, or if you guys actually do take time, which sounds yeah. like you do. So that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah, great. We did <clears throat> we did like a you we did like a first you stream like it is all stuff we're learning about. You know, because oh, I mean? yeah. we're old school, dude. We're we're more like get on the road and tour and interact with the fans that way. Yeah, now it's like like you said, there's so many different ways. You know so what I mean to do it. Ways that you know we got to try to keep up with the yep. times and see what's going on yeah yep. talk about a normal tour day I mean just or just a day like today what is kind of the new normal routine for you guys I mean we're hanging out right now you probably have press and all that kind of stuff you just got here about an hour and a half ago you said mm -hmm. what kind of I mean you guys play in about two hours so what's kind of the day like for you uh, well, first thing in the morning, man, yeah, it's yeah. like it's like find a clean bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know you got it. You know you got to take care of that <laughs> first thing business. in the morning. Handle business. You know, um, you know, catering, man. You know, is is next on the list. Yeah. yeah. And then empty, you know, refill, yeah. play, play, empty again. There you go. That's the schedule. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. All right. And then for the fans too, why don't you guys talk about kind of your your most recent album and kind of what it was like making the recent album compared to others you know um you know we had uh, as a band you know we kind of took a little bit of time off you know for like about four years mm -hmm. um this album to me was probably one of my favorite it reminds me of old school like when PD first started yeah i think all of us are just kind of really in sync we needed to take that time off to kind of you know decompress from you know the hustle and bustle of just being on the road and um i don't know man it was it was a fun experience to me it was you know just kind of rekindled mm -hmm. you know a lot of uh, old times, man, and uh, Markles is back in the band. You know, he's been back for you know the last you know four years or five years, but you know this record particularly, man, I think was one of my favorite because we just kind of 
you know, connected on it, man. Right. And I think it's really, you know, a throwback of like an old school POD mixed with, you know, just where we're at now as a band. Yep. And um, it's fun, man. The it's new good. single out, Lost in Forever. Mm -hmm. One of, I mean, my favorite songs off the album, of course. And I, I first heard that song off of Sirius XM, Octane, you guys are on. Yeah. I and mean, what's it like to get that single out there? I mean, I'm sure you guys are pretty happy with how the song came out but uh, what's what's kind of like to get the single out there for the fans it feels good to, to like you know when we started driving across the country in the bus we would hear it on the radio we hear it on Sirius yeah. and satellite and all that it feels good to hear our, our music you know back on the radio um, you know we've been blessed enough to have you know some singles hit the radio and do really well right. and then we've had records where none of our singles hit the radio you know right. what I mean so let's right. so speak of the last record so you know, for us to start feeling <clears throat> the kind of like the crawl back, you know what I mean, or, yep. or just starting to hear the love back on the radio, is always something that you know what I mean. We we love and appreciate and don't take for granted. Yep. That's why we're out here hustling and, and playing the shows and talking to the radio and doing what we got to do for right. for people to hear our, our songs. So we're grateful, man, for sure. Yep. And it sounds good. It sounds yep. really good on the radio. So it we're does. happy. Definitely, definitely. Well, guys, let's do this next part here. Uh, like I mentioned before, we have a BSE box, we call it, where mm -hmm. fans have found Backstage Entertainment on Facebook. You guys can go like us, too. Get your own questions in here. But uh, we have our fans just submit questions for bands we interview. So you guys will kind of just draw a couple here, and we'll kind of go from there. All right. I'll pick one. Let's get Trey one right there, homie. Yep. Okay, what do we got? Oh, man. <laughs> where, where is your favorite, least favorite, and favorites to play on tour? Favorite place to play on tour? Yeah. You gonna throw any place under the uh, bus here, dude? See, that's the thing, <laughs> man. I don't want to throw no really place on the bus, dude, because you know what I mean. I, it's not you that. You want to go back? You just yeah, don't yeah, yeah. It's know. not like you know what I mean. There's only. I'll say my favorite place. Okay. One of my favorite places to play um, is New Zealand. Oh, okay. Probably Auckland. Like we've been there a few times, and I just like. It reminds me kind of of San Diego. It's got yeah. the you know, it's got the beaches, it's got the mountains. The people are like real diverse. You know what I mean. And the yeah. weather's real nice, so. New Zealand, Auckland is probably my favorite, okay. my favorite personal place to play. Gotcha. And Trey, what do you got over here? Mine is if I could hang out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Okay. Uh, you know, on a musical tip, man, I'd have to say something. I mean, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Nice. We Jim, get Jimi Jim Hendrix. Hendrix a lot. That, yeah. He would be really cool to hang out with. Cool to hang out with, man. Yeah. Okay. And then, how about this? I draw one more oh, for you go. guys, and you guys can hash it out here. Okay. Oh, traditions going uh, uh, before going out on tour. Do you guys like get together as a band before the tour and just kind of do a hangout session, or how does that work? Um, no, we don't really hang out because we know we're gonna be hang freaking stuck on the bus for, for a long time, you know, yeah. once at a time. <laughs> um, probably our tradition is we like we just get together and rehearse as much as we can. You know what I mean? So we can be as sharp as we can. Yep. Yeah. Um, probably go to Walmart the night before. Stock up on your socks, your boxers, yeah. you know what I mean, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Exactly. And usually for me, I'm a procrastinator, so I do it last minute. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm always panicking at the last minute, I'm always forgetting something. But yeah, right. that's pretty much it. Nothing too right. crazy. It is. That's it. So, well, there we go. POD guys, definitely go check them out. Check out their new album. Nice. Listen for their new single out, Lost in Forever, and just check out POD guys. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.